This is real advice. Christmas shopping is tough. I hate to do it. I'm not that creative. But boy, one thing I did this year to take care of everybody in my family is I bought a bunch of performance packages. I bought a bunch of beard trimmers. I bought a bunch of Lawnmower 5.0 Ultras from Manscaped. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is still the go-to tool for below the belt grooming and it's still waterproof. It is still featuring the LED lights you can shave in the dark in the shower. But now there are two interchangeable skin safe blades and three adjustable setting combs. So you can get it down to the length that you need it to be. Now y'all know I like package deals and the newest edition is the Performance Package 5.0. It comes with the Lawnmower 5.0, the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer, ball lotion, ball deodorant, and as a free gift, you get a free pair of Manscaped boxers, which I've already graduated to my lucky draws, and you get a travel shed bag. You can't beat that deal with a stick. Make Christmas shopping easy. Don't overthink it like everybody else. Go to manscaped.com, get your performance packages, get your beard trimmer, get all that stuff and throw it in your shopping cart. And I'm going to save you a little bit of money at the end. Use promo code VOCH20, V-O-C-H-20 for 20% off and free shipping using VOCH20 at manscaped.com. All right, your balls will thank you. And the people that you're gifting, theirs will thank them also. In the NBA, the game can change at an instant, but no matter how the action unfolds, you know DraftKings Sportsbook has your back. This week, new customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets by betting five bucks on basketball. Win or lose, you get an instant dub. You can even bet on Luka's MVP odds at the end of the year. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code VACH, V-O-C-H, VACH. New customers can get 150 instantly in bonus bets just for betting five on basketball. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code VACH, V-O-C-H, VACH. The crown is yours. And we back at it again. We got another film session today. We talking about the Dallas Cowboys and how that Cowboys defense whooped up on the Philadelphia Eagles. If you want more film, check me out on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. Appreciate y'all. All right, let's get into a little bit of film now. Now, you know, it's it's interesting, right? The past couple of weeks, we've been looking at this whole Gilly, who is he going to cover thing, right? One, you know, one guy would be DK Metcalf. One guy would be AJ Brown. They're at the bottom of your screen here. And I actually started to, to to wonder like it's it's not like these dudes don't have don't have speed i'm talking about brown and i'm talking about Metcalf. so what makes gilmore what gives him the advantage versus wide receivers like this and look i could be wrong but this is just a little thought in the theory of mine maybe it's because these guys don't have a whole bunch of route diversity right dk Metcalf, just like aj brown they both can run and they both are big and they both are physical but they either gonna run a slant or they're gonna run some nine, they're gonna run a bubble, you know what I mean? Something that's easy identifiable. And Gilmore being the high IQ DB, if he can identify what route you're running, then your speed advantage doesn't matter. So I think we can assume that Gilmore at this point in his career isn't the big speed guy. And AJ Brown may have a speed advantage, but take a look at Gilmore's hips right here, right? One more identification. Let's take a look at, at, at Gilmore's hips right here. Like there was no fear of any outside move. There was no fear of any, you know, setup or no little weird route coming across the middle, no crossing. It was just, hey, I got I feel like you you just about to run this nine route because you're AJ Brown and that's one of the four routes that you run. So me being Stefan Gilmore, once I once I see that, once I can identify, I can just open my hips and just run. Deron Bland may be faster than me. Jordan Lewis may be faster than me, but if I can identify this route faster than them, then I have the advantage here. And <laughs> Hey, come on, man. What you doing? Jalen Hurts would have to throw a perfect pass to beat Gilmore here, but he doesn't. And I promise this ain't me being messy. This is CeeDee Lamb in orbit motion. This is Darius Leonard. And this is what happens when you don't sign with the Dallas Cowboys. You go to the Eagles. You end up breaking all the tools, breaking all the furniture, breaking all the equipment. All because you didn't want to sign with us. How about this one, chat? We got Stefan Gilmore once again versus AJ Brown. And this time, Gilly's going to get a little bit of an assist from this fantastical Cowboys pass rush. Also, too, y'all, yeah, I just wonder what Gilly sounds like trash talking people, right? Like, we're talking about a dude that just doesn't talk in general. Like, what does it sound like when he's mouthing off at somebody? I am curious. Y'all let me know in the chat box and the comment section. But let's take a look at this pass rush and what I think uh, was the most important parts here uh, that helped Gilly on that rush. Um, 
that Hill Gilly on that coverage versus AJ Brown. A couple things happen here. Let's just talk about it. One, you have some extra pressure from Marquise Bell and J. Ron Curtis. And me and Will still have been saying it all the time, man. If you want to, uh, you know, deal with with Jalen Hurts and just make him terrible, then you need to just rush him and put pressure on him. Now, those two dudes didn't end up involved in the pressure, right? But let's just say it's going to be this five versus this five. Well, I mean, that's all fine and dandy here, but now what you get is you get Demarcus Lawrence running free. So he's going to give you pressure from the back end, and that's just going to speed up Jalen Hurts' quarterback clock. But most importantly, the biggest pressure, I think, right here was Oso Digizua getting up field quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because what ends up happening is with Osa getting up field here, uh, Jalen Hurts is not able to step up into that pocket. So he's really throwing this, throwing this, uh, throwing this pass here with his foot planted in the ground. And that's why the pass was a little goofy looking and get more wins did, did we also get a deflection hold on did we also get a deflection at the line of scrimmage marquise bell with the deflection at the line of scrimmage chat so a, a, everything kind of played his role everybody had had something to do whether it be micah getting his pressure on the edge d law running free uh your two pressure guys making the five on five osa stepping up but then you got marquise bell actually tipping the pass here fantastic day Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with signing with Philly, all right? Everybody has their own reasons for doing what they want to do. But just in the event that you didn't know what you was getting into when you signed with Philly, this is what happens to you. You end up in Tyler Smith's peripheral, and you end up getting pinned down by one of the best offensive linemen in the National Football League right now. Then we got the play at the end of the game here. Uh, let's just kind of run it and come back to it. So Devontae Smith is going to get the football here. And, you know, it's kind of important to see who's catching the ball just to put the rest of this play into context. And Gill is going to come down and make a fantastic tackle. Uh, even though Devontae Smith caught the football, I think this is A.J. Brown's fault again. And we just love blaming him for stuff. Uh, because if we just take a look at this in the middle of the field right here. No, 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 no. Not right there. Too big, too big. New technology. My fault, y'all about right there they're supposed to be like a little like a little mesh point like a little pick point like a natural rub and it's way downfield and that's okay this is you know fourth down it's supposed to be like a like a like a bigger yak play design for Devonte smith aj brown doesn't get the right leverage and he's supposed to kind of you know get gilly off of his mark right here and you could tell that because brown is run he's looking at gill the whole time if you just look at, at at brown right here he's looking at gilmore the entire way so what ends up happening Happen is brown looks at gilmore but brown doesn't take uh he doesn't take a take a take a great angle to be able to rub gilmore what we end up getting it should be a little more flat like this but he ends up like that so with that gilmore can just dip up under there and then go pursue to make the play here <laughs> wait, 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 chat, wait a minute chat, wait. That's why I love watching all 22, man. Take a look at AJ Brown after the play. What you dipping your head for, player? Why are you upset? What you mad for? What you mad for? Hey, you know we're gonna lead this right here. We just gonna we we just gonna we gonna put the spotlight on you, player, while we just finish talking about this. Hey, man, fantastic win fantastic game for the cowboys on offense and defense we got some more good games to go buffalo's coming up the the the, the dolphins are frauds but they can give us problems um lions and the washington football wizards man so we just got to keep stacking good games on top of good games man this team is confident right now and uh you know i'm, I'm not done breaking down this game man it, this is a lovely game and i love winning against that team so uh we we probably gonna be doing something film wise all week we're gonna be breaking down this game all week man so i appreciate y'all for tuning in y'all tap into my patreon where we watch even more film patreon.com slash vach lombardi check me out on the volume and social media v-o-c-h-l-o-n-b-a-r-d-i y'all hold it down for the doski walsh and the peace till next time gone